Hi, it's your friend Tom again. This is my second video. Uh, I will be uploading to YouTube. Now, I warned you in the last um, video that I was going to allow monetization. And that's in your settings and in, in, in the YouTube account. And um, I was a little confused. I thought that was the only way to get permission to shoot a uh, YouTube video over 15 minutes. Actually, I'm not quite sure that's true. Um, to do that, and of course, I've used YouTube tutorials to learn everything that I know about YouTube. Um, there's a whole lot of people out there like to teach, and, and they know they're not going to get much money from it. Um, but I do have to, excuse me, to shoot a YouTube video over 15 minutes, uh, you have to give them your phone number, and then um, they texted me back and gave me a passcode. Now, to be a YouTube partner, I have to upload at least one video that allows monetization. In other words, I warned you that in this video, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, there could be an ad. Now, I am on uh, a five day weekend. <laughs> I'm on a, uh, this is Labor Day weekend. August 2012, today's Friday, the 30th, and here I am in Massachusetts, Eastern Standard Time, about uh, 10 past 3. So I am in the midst of a five-day weekend um, from work. Um... I did notice one thing. In my first video, I wasn't smiling a whole lot. And I looked kind of tired. It's probably because I am tired. Um, I am going to take a rest after this video. Because there's supposed to be a really awesome service that I can go to. Special speaker in a church I've never been to tonight. And um, I have spent a lot more time than I would ever want to admit um, throwing this stuff together. Um, like I said in my first video, I am in my cellar. This is where I do my computer stuff. And it is an unfinished cellar. So it doesn't look that great. So that's why I have this um, old bedspread hung up behind me that my wife had asked me to store. And uh, I just did it so you don't have to look at a dingy cellar. But you know, you, you may comment to me and say, hey Tom, uh, that background's a little bit loud and busy. It's taking my attention off of you. I don't know. You know, maybe it should be beige or olive green or something like that. But anyway, I spent most of my time hunting down resources for you, okay? And the gentleman I referred to in my first YouTube, the one I had to shoot within 10 minutes, um, was Dr. Steve McVeigh. And his resources are very inexpensive, very reasonable, and very effective. Okay. Now, um, excuse me for just a minute. If you go to Steve McVeigh's website, first of all, let's talk about money. Okay. 
the resources I'm going to recommend to you to help you find mental stability again, to find happiness, peace, joy, all those fruits of the Spirit that you want to enjoy but you're not enjoying. The resources I'm going to give you are very good. All right. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm a federal employee. Uh, I'm not a professional counselor of any kind. I'm not a licensed or ordained minister. The only reason that, that I want to share with you about helping find your way if you feel lost and undone as a born-again Christian is because I've lived it, okay? I've lived it. And now, thank God, that's all, it just, it's hard to even remember now how bad that felt. But the desire to share with others just won't quit with me. It's just, I'm always wanting to do this, okay? And I admit, uh, this took a lot more time to throw together than I expected, as any project does. A lot more energy, more money than I expected. I spent most of my time trying to find you resources from the second gentleman, brother, pastor, teacher that I'm going to recommend to you, and that is Joseph Prince. Joseph Prince's stuff really packs a wallop. Very powerful, very anointed. But, and Joseph, brother, I don't know why you do this. Your stuff costs too much money. Let's get right down to it. Okay, first of all, let me start by saying a prayer. Okay, and once again, my apologies if this video started with an ad. That's what I got to do to be a YouTube partner. Okay, at least once, but I'll probably, I'll probably shoot um, a session each of these five days off. Um, sorry, it's going to be four days now because yesterday was Thursday and I spent all of my time. <laughs> oh boy, setting the stuff up and um, trying to find you free ways to access Joseph Prince's material. CDs, DVDs, so on and so forth. CD sermons, CD books. Um, but let me pause right now, okay? Now look. You're going to be okay. I don't guarantee it. God does. God gives you over a thousand promises in the Bible. And His reputation is at stake here. He is the one who says that He loved you before you were in your mother's womb. And he will lead you out of anxiety, out of depression, out of mental illness, out of condemnation. I'm telling you, he's going to do it for you. You, that very person who says, 
it's not going to work for me. That's why I never say you can feel better again. I will say to you in Jesus name, you will feel better again. Okay? I'm telling you, you will. Okay? Why? Because God's reputation is at stake here. He is the one making the promise. Okay? All right. So look. Slow down. Okay? Slow down. In the name of Jesus, slow down. In the name of Jesus, stop. Stop. I command your mind to slow down and grind to a halt in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Spirit of Suicide you will leave every one of my friends who is being tormented by you, everyone who watches this video, today, tomorrow, a year from now, everyone in this audience who is being tormented and oppressed by a spirit of suicide, I come against you, spirit of suicide, and I command you to leave now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Leave. You must go. All right. Not everybody is suffering from that, who's listening to me right now, but some of you are. I've been there. I know how it feels. I'm telling you, God, I can hardly remember what it felt like. It's been so long since I suffered from this stuff. But now that I'm free of it, I really want to share it with you, okay? And I know I'm tired and I'm not smiling and overflowing. There might not be a real twinkle in my eye here, but it's okay. We're going to keep doing sessions. And I can assure you, tomorrow's session will be with me well rested. Okay. Resources. Do you have about a hundred bucks to spare? If so, we can do this the quick and easy way. If you just go to Google and click on, uh, type in Joseph Prince, it'll take you to Joseph Prince Ministries, his homepage. And you, oh, even faster way, Joseph Prince, Condemnation Kills. And if you type that in, it'll give you a link, and it'll come straight to this. And this is where lighting is tough. Lighting's really tough for this stuff. It's going to shine right off my glasses, but, you know, you'll forgive me. Oh boy, 14 minutes and 55 seconds. Well, I can go over 15 minutes, but I'm going to try to keep it within a half hour. All right. If you type in condemnation kills, 
but the spirit gives life. There it is. Sorry, I don't know how to do those fancy screenshots like the other people that do YouTube stuff. But that's what it looks like. One second, please. Sorry, I forgot to turn off my cell phone. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Condemnation kills what the spirit gives life. What this is, is basically it is four DVD sermons preached by Joseph Prince. And each he preaches a long time. They're about an hour and a half apiece. There's four of them. Let me read you the titles. The very first one, Disc 1, Condemnation Kills, But the Spirit Gives Life. Disc 2, The Root Cause of Your Problem is Condemnation. Condemnation. Disc 3, When You Are Under Condemnation, God's Favor Cannot Flow. Disc 4, God is not on the frequency of condemnation. Okay. Now, the fair market value listed here is $49.99. The donation value is $29.91, and they claim that you can use that $29.91 as a tax deduction charitable purposes, for charitable purposes. <sighs> I'm really into Joseph Prince, but you know, this thing costs 80 bucks. It does include shipping. The shipping is slow, standard, 7 to 10 days. It doesn't take that long, but it's probably a UPS if I remember correctly. Okay. I haven't gotten this product from Joseph Prince, but I've gotten other products from Joseph Prince. Okay. If you have 80 bucks to spare, that's the quick and easy way to get it. And just get it into your hands and start using it. My advice, if you have a job, have a car, spend time in your car every day. Once you get them, convert them to CD and listen while you drive. And listen to them over and over again the boys in the white lab coats say it takes 21 days I'm talking about the professionals male or female 21 days to reprogram something in your mind that's why the Bible talks about my daily bread and the washing of the water of the word we need it every day <clears throat> if you're housebound uh, if you're on a mental health disability you'll probably prefer the DVDs anyway because you'll want to sit and watch them okay but I'm just coming from my um, perspective you know I've got a job got a car I drive every day not a very long commute but you'd be surprised you do a couple errands after work or go to the gym something like that you'd be surprised how much listening you're gonna do in one day okay <clears throat> Steve McVeigh, on the other hand, is very simple and very inexpensive and very good. And if all you have is 15 bucks, Steve McVeigh will work just fine. Don't worry. You will get quality material on helping you. Let me put it this way. This will help you to overcome condemnation. Steve McVeigh's masterpiece is called Grace Walk. It is a book. 
you can get the audiobook as an MP3 download for only fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks. Okay. If I wasn't so into Joseph Prince, I would just say stick with Steve McVeigh. But I've used them both, and I happen to prefer Joseph Prince. You may not. But anyway, Steve McVeigh, you just just go to Google. Type in Steve McVeigh. It'll take you to gracewalkministries.org, I believe it is. And what does the first page look like? Here's the first page. Once again, I don't know how to do all these fancy screenshots and stuff and show you, take you through a screen, but if you'll excuse me, ooh, how well does this show up? Not very well. Um, this is the home page right now, and it's actually got a devotional here, a devotional of Grace Walk. It's called the Grace Walk Devotional. I might buy it. But here in the left corner, it, this is hard with a camera because you end up realizing everything's backwards. It says Download Teachings Audio. You click on that link, okay, and It'll take you to his audio downloads. There we go. And can you read it? Grace Walk there? Grace Walk. 15 bucks. It's an audio book download. It's an MP3. And my car is a 2008. So it doesn't have an MP3 plug in the CD player. So I just burn it to CD, and I just use the CDs. I listen to that thing at least. I try not to exaggerate. At least twice. Probably three times. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Now, we've used up 22 minutes. My concern is if you don't have a job, okay, and you're on mental health disability and you're housebound, you don't have your own car, um, I want you to get Joseph Prince DVDs so you can watch them. I don't think Steve McVeigh does DVDs. I'll check it out, but I will tell you this. This whole project of learning how to upload to YouTube and getting permissions over 15 minutes and trying first um, to use an older laptop's webcam, uh, which was a disaster. That thing was just too old and had way too few megapixels. Uh, and the adventure of finding out what's the best rated webcam, um, which is the one I'm using right now, the Logitech C920. Boop, 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 boop. Here we are with the backwards stuff again. That is the best one on the market. If you judge by three or four reviews I saw on either Google or YouTube, Nowadays, I hardly even go to Google anymore. I just go straight to YouTube. Um, and these were geeks who are not out to make money. They didn't get a commission from it. They might have used ads in their videos because they're trying to build a presence and make some money. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but that was, it was not that much. It was 75 bucks. Amazon. Ordered it on last Sunday. Got it on Tuesday. I wasn't supposed to get it till Wednesday. When I used the laptop webcam, I went through a lot of trouble with lighting. Lighting is everything. 
Um, I ended up buying, boy, that old webcam with 1.3 megapixels. <laughs> I noticed after I'd been messing with it for quite a while, I saw it in a little writing, you know, on the webcam. I said, oh, this is not going to work. When I was trying to make it work, at one point, I went as far as to go to Lowe's and get got, got the one guy in the store who knew a lot about lighting and got six $8 light bulbs. And I believe I had seven lights on me in all. When I switched to the Logitech webcam, I took those bulbs back and got my money back. This webcam doesn't require a whole lot of light at all. At all. I mean, let me see here. That's one of my background lights gone. And what's shining in my face is a 7.5 night light. 7.5 watt night light. It does bring out my skin a little bit. Because I do have a bit of a tan. Um, but lighting's really something with these projects. I don't know. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I did notice watching my first video that the lighting kind of... Maybe it's because I'm moving my face or backwards and forwards I don't know but the lighting would change but in any case this Logitech I actually at least I actually at least uh, look somewhat like myself and there's not a whole lot of lighting going on here I spent most of my time trying to get you Joseph Prince's materials for free. Okay. Uh, I looked up my history with Joseph Prince and there was... How much money did I spend? It, it got ridiculous the amount of time I spent trying to get you Joseph Prince's materials for free. I've already spent with Joseph Prince. One of them was a gift for somebody who was dying of cancer. It was a book on healing uh, and um, I believe it was a book, a CD, a DVD. It was a nice set. It was 120 bucks. <coughs> back when, excuse me, <coughs> back when Joseph Prince offered MP3 downloads, I noticed that I had bought $36 worth of MP3 downloads. Condemnation Kills, the first sermon in that set <clears throat> that I showed you, the DVD set, I believe is the best message of them all. And that's the one that drove me nuts trying to find for you for free. You know, a lot of times you can just go to Google and... I'll tell you what. I'm going to take a chance and go over half an hour. And if it cuts off, it cuts off. I don't care. Because this is just incidental stuff. But all I can tell you is great if you have... If you have a hundred bucks, that's the resource material that I am recommending for you. Okay? Um, Steve McVeigh's audiobook, Grace Walk. And he does have the book, Grace Walk, which I also got. I got all five of Steve McVeigh's books for 50 bucks. All five of his books. Very reasonable. If Joseph Prince didn't pack such a punch, such an anointing, 
I would say just stick with Steve McVeigh. Now look, don't feel left out if all you can afford is Steve McVeigh's. And if you tell me in an email uh, or a reply, Tom, I, I don't have any money. Can you show me how to get Steve McVeigh's stuff? Here's what I'll tell you. If you know your way around torrents, just get it for free. But you have to know your way around torrents without picking up a lot of third-party software that will fill your machine with malware, spyware, other types of viruses, and make your computer crash. It's, it's really awful. And most of us these days have at least one geek friend. If you're going to go into torrents, I can tell you which torrents gave me what for Joseph Prince. But I spent, by far, most of my time setting this up, learning webcams, lighting, uploading to YouTube, your account with YouTube, uh, all types of YouTube questions, I've said it about three times now, getting permission to load videos longer than 15 minutes, more than, and including traffic time between here and Lowe's and here and Home Depot. Trips I made for different things, all kinds of different kinds of light bulbs, and, and um, bringing stuff back and bringing back other stuff um, more than all that I spent trying to find you Joseph Prince <laughs> free okay from Torrance I was hoping I could just get free mp3 downloads for you straight out of Google I could not. Not without you using somebody's downloader system and a, let's see, one of them was BearShare. So in order, BearShare had Joseph Prince Condemnation Kills. It's about an hour and 30 minute sermon. Because Joseph Prince no longer offers it on his website. Okay. He offers CD sermons. He doesn't offer MP3s anymore. And for some reason, I've reviewed it at least three times. Condemnation Kills just isn't in there. It's only available in that one four DVD set that I um, advise that you get. I could not find it in the CD sermon. I could find everything else, plus a lot of other great stuff. Uh, I checked the whole list at least three times, and there were over 21 pages of CD sermons. I got two huge downloads off of torrent sites full of Joseph Prince stuff. DVDs, CDs, audio, video, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff I found. I found everything in that Condemnation Kills DVD packet except for the actual one that says condemnation kills but the spirit gives life and I I myself had bought that as an mp3 way back when I spent that 36 bucks or whatever this is what it looked like these 
is going through a whole bunch of torrent sites trying to find this and that and the other. And, oh, it was just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I was just so determined that I could show you that stuff. We're 35 minutes, and I will tell you very quickly what I did find on torrent sites for Joseph Prince. First of all, you know what? I'm going to bring this to a close, okay? And we'll do another session. I'll show you what I did find in Torrance and on Joseph Prince's website. That would not cost you $80. His CD sermons are 10 bucks a piece. Still think he's asking for too much money. When you consider you can get Steve McVeigh's entire Grace Walk book, over 200,000 copies sold in an MP3 format for 15 bucks. But Joseph Prince is really good, so we'll call it quits right now. If you have a hundred bucks, was it worth it for me to do all the searching for me? Was it cost effective? <laughs> No, 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 because most of my time, third, uh, Wednesday night was my first night off of this five-week thing, Thursday and Thursday night, and this morning, trying to get the Joseph Prince stuff for free that... Um, that I would recommend to you so you could get it for free because here again you may not have any money you may be on a, a mental health disability you you may be housebound you may be don't have a car don't have a job uh, and like I said I'll go as far as to find um, Steve McVeigh's Grace Walk for you on a torrent. You can get it for free. Um, I myself cannot post this stuff on YouTube. I cannot post any copyrighted, copyrighted material on YouTube. Because then I will no longer be a member in good standing and I will no longer be allowed to go over 15 minutes. Okay. Let's take a break. I'll do a shorter video for you. And if you are familiar with torrents, and you know how to steer clear of all the third-party software that they advertise or try to tell you you need, then you can get an abundance, abundance of Joseph Prince material that two people posted to different torrent sites and these two people these two fine people must have spent over a thousand dollars they just had so much stuff of Joseph Prince DVDs CDs whatever okay audio video uh, when you consider the audio video costs 10 bucks a hit, 
and the DVDs cost, well, like I said, I had that force, that set that I recommended to you was 80 bucks. Okay. I'm still tired. I don't know if I have that sparkle in my eye. I don't know how much I'm smiling, but yes, I spent way too much time researching Joseph Prince. If you're interested, you go with Torrance, or you want to know what he has on his website besides what I showed you that would be good, or how you can get three of those four messages. You can get three of those four messages on that DVD set as CD sermons for 10 bucks a piece. That's 30 bucks instead of 80 bucks. But you will not find condemnation kills, but the Spirit gives life. I mean, I'm making it sound like if you don't get this one teaching of an hour and a half, you're not going to make it. Well, no, no way. Mm -mm. It's not that important. It's plenty of other good stuff. Plenty. You get those two things that I recommended. It'll keep you busy for three, four, six months. Because I do recommend you um, listen to it over and over again. All right, now we're probably at 45 minutes by now. And we're at 41 minutes and 53 seconds. So, warning, my next session may have an ad, and my next session is going to be dedicated to Joseph Prince materials alone what's on his website as CDD sermons and what I found in the two torrents that I got I'll show you where I got the torrents how big they were they were each at least four gigabytes it's a lot of stuff especially four gigabytes all audio that's a lot um, but if you got a hundred bucks just do it the quick and easy way. Okay? All right. God bless you. Look. Maybe it's time for me to pray for, to, for myself to slow down. We're not in a race. We're not in a race. Okay? God's got all the time in the world he is with you and if you don't want to go through all this material stuff materials stuff about materials just skip the third session and then once that's out of my system we'll get down to business okay We'll get down to business about being free from condemnation and feeling good again. I'm going to share one thing before I close because this, I got very involved in the resources that I was trying to find for you. Very involved probably wore you out because I feel worn out right now some of you may have heard of David Duplessis or David Duplessis French name I think it has an S in the end I don't know if he has the sound or not so David Duplessis or Duplessis was known as Mr. Pentecost and he was quite a guy in his day in the body of Christ. I think he's gone on to be with the Lord now. Maybe for quite a while. Um, Benny Hinn 
before he was a really big name um, who filled up whole civic arenas in his monthly meetings you know civic arenas of 10 to 15,000 people a ministry that brings in 100 million a year I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that I'm just saying it's a huge huge ministry and a very powerful one at that as much as he gets criticized most people say his ministry is very similar to that of the late great Catherine Coleman okay Benny Prince before he became a big name had a chance to meet David Duplessis Mr. Pentecost Okay. Now, he saw his opportunity to, he, he got a one on one opportunity to spend a couple of minutes with this uh, legendary person in the body of Christ. So he got right down to it. He um, shook hands with him, met him. For some reason, I think they were both in a hallway walking somewhere to do something, probably in ministry related. I can't really remember or if it was a conference and David Duplicy was coming one way, Benny Hinn was going the other way, and he just got a chance to stop, introduce himself, and say hi. I can't really remember. What's important is that Benny Hinn got right down to it. He said, how, you know, he might have said, man of God, how can I really please God? And old Mr. Pentecost, actually, he's a pretty bold guy. And he, he was advanced in age at that time. <laughs> stopped. First thing he did is he stopped. Kind of lightly pushed Benny right up against a, the wall of the hallway they were in. Now, I'm sure he didn't do it in a threatening way, but he, he literally... Okay, you want a minute with me? Here's your minute. Pushed him up against the wall. Poked his finger in Benny Hinn's chest. And he said, the question once again was, how do I really please God? David Duplessis with his finger in Benny Hinn's chest said, don't try don't try it's not about you it's about his ability within you and there's a little hint about what we're going to be getting into it's impossible to live a continuous victorious Christian life impossible if you want to live right and please God and feel good about yourself like he wants you to feel good about yourself You have to let Jesus live his life through you. All you got to do is yield. Okay? We're going to stop there. God bless you. God keep you. And he will. And God will make you happy again. Yes, he will.
don't stop seeing your psychologist. If you're seeing a psychiatrist and you're on medication, do not stop. Don't stop. Keep seeing your psychiatrist. Keep taking your meds if you're on them. Keep seeing your psychologist. We'll talk more about that later. And I know God will see you through. Do you feel good again? In the name of Jesus, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>